Sister, I have a question in the Bible. It's, if you allow me, in Matthew 22. Yes, sister. And he said to them, Whose image and inscription is this? They said to him, Caesar's. And he said to them, Render therefore to Caesar the things that are Caesar's, and to God the things that are God's. When they had heard these words, they marveled and left him and went their way. Sister Maria Luisa, my question is, I would like for you to, to teach us. I've heard that in many countries, people report taxes with low earnings and receive aid from the government. They report low earnings with the excuse that the government will not notice and that the government has money. These people have material possessions. I would like for you to teach us, to explain to us. Well, sister, I think that that is being dishonest. That's simply being dishonest because we need to follow and adhere to the rules and laws of the government that governs over us. It's a bit redundant, but the government that governs us. We have to respect all the laws as also the Lord told the disciples. In that time, well, the Caesars, we know it was the Roman Empire that ruled. They basically ruled the world. And they were also ruling over the people of Israel to a certain point. They set their own rules and their rules needed to be followed. Because maybe sometimes the Jews would say, well, the law of Moses does not teach us to do this or that, so we don't need to do it. No, they had to submit to that government and their rules and laws. They needed to do those things. So the Lord told him, well, if Caesar asks for a tax, then you need to do it because you are ruled by them. So that's why he says you need to therefore do things uprightly. And if we do things, as you said, well, people try not to pay tax because like a person who maybe works in a business and they withdraw something and say, oh, well, the owner's so wealthy, he doesn't need it. He has a lot of riches, so I can take a little bit away. God will not be pleased by that type of attitude or that way of thinking. God wants me to be honest, upright, and respect other people's things. God gives riches to whomever he wants. To some, he gives more than others. But God has also taught us that we should have patience and we should surrender and accept and be content with what God gives us. With what we are and what we have, we should be content because that is what God gives. To whoever God gives more, well, then that's the Lord's problem in giving more to others. He knows why. But what God has given me, well, thank you, Lord, because you have given me the very little I have. I thank you for it. But I'm not going to be envious, nor will I desire what other people have because they have so much of it. And because they're millionaires, I'm not going to be envious of that, nor desire it or covet it, nor evade the requirements of the laws that have been placed in the country that I live. In every place, there are laws, and we need to keep the laws. We need to respect them and do things right, because that is the example that the children of God set for the world. So the children of God need to know how to act and behave at a certain standard and not just paying the government for what they demand, but also when you are working at a business or you are working with people out in the world, people who don't have our same beliefs, people who are not following the steps we follow in the Lord and we know the Lord. So that's why we say they're people of the world because they have not known God as we know him. And that's why we work with the people of the world at their businesses and factories and different institutions, however we want to call them. And we therefore should be honorable, good workers. We should work with joy, work with honorability 
and kindness and not with any ill will. All of this is what we have learned from what the Lord has told many people, people who are employees. The Lord tells them, you are not working with love. You are not working with goodwill and with kindness, but you feel forced at work doing what you do. You need to do things with joy, with goodwill, because I am the one that will bless you. It is not other people or human beings. They will not bless you. It is I, because I see your work. I see your effort. I see your sincerity, the ex example you set at work. I am the one who will bless you. I've learned all of that according to what the Holy Spirit speaks to people, because people then say, well, yes, this is true. I work at this place, but... I don't like it. These people are so wealthy and they humiliate us. They treat us bad and pay us very little. So I then deduct some of my time. That's what people, they say, and they do things with ill will. And so God has taught people not to work that way, but to work with love, with goodwill, because God had better things for them later. So God teaches us to be honest, to be upright in all things, in all ways. And this is why... We must be an example to the world, an example to other people that people are admired and say, well, who are you? Where do you go? You're a person that exhales peace and that's beautiful. And this is what we long for other people to say about us. You exhale peace. Who are you? Well, I go to a church where God speaks and God has taught me to live well, to be honest and upright and to carry out all of my work with honesty. God teaches me that and that's what I do. And so people are pleased by this and they will trust in the children of God. People of the world will trust the children of God because they will say, well, I only trust in this person. I trust in this person's work. So we must be honest because if we fail in those things, and sometimes we can say, well, no one will notice. I don't tell anyone, but God is watching. And if we fail the Lord with anything, a thief is not someone who steals a dollar or one who steals a thousand. They are both thieves because someone could say, well, well, you're a thief. You stole a thousand. I'm not a thief because I only stole one dollar. But it is the same. It's not the amount. It is the act. So the Lord teaches us honesty in life. And when we work, we are not to deceive people. And in Proverbs, it is a great school where we learn how to live and behave well in our daily lives. It talks about, for example, unbalanced scales, and it talks about bribes. And blackmail and all of these things are things maybe we don't reflect on and we make those mistakes. We fall into those traps. Maybe we increase prices, alter them. We alter the scales. So God, he turns away or we live a stagnant life spiritually because we are acting incorrectly. This is why the Lord or the Holy Spirit at times tells us to reflect that we should examine ourselves. What am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong in life? Because God has turned away from me and is not blessing me. This is important. We should always read, learn, reflect, and God is always watching us. And we should be very careful with bad actions. All of this we call values as well. Out in the world, people call them values. And these values we learn in the Bible.